All right, uh, good to get a win. Uh, great environment at Highmark Stadium. Fans were phenomenal again. Um, playing here, the environment that, that they help us uh, with on Sundays, on game days, is unmatched around the NFL. I've said that before numerous times. Um, I should have said this to start. Glory to God, man, with his, uh, his blessings, right? And everyone that was out there, some guys uh, got banged up, some guys were able to play through some things. Um, just extremely grateful, right? Extre extremely grateful um, to, to lead these guys, man, in terms of just a, what a good, good group of men uh, and women on our staff as well. And um, I thought the effort was outstanding, starting with the offensive line, as you guys were talking about the running game, the running backs. When you run the football, though, it's not just the offensive line and, and the running backs. It's the tight ends. It's the wide receivers. And it takes an unselfish approach, right, especially for a wide receiver to, to not get as many balls in a game like this. Uh, and, and then when the, when the ball does come your way, the opportunities you get, you've got to make the most of them. And I thought they did that. Uh, Steph's catch was, was, uh, was amazing and, and a, big, a big play for us there. Um, Josh's mindset again as a quarterback, you know, I think we threw for 85, 86 yards, whatever it was. And I love that about him. He just wants to win. And, uh, and that says a lot about who he is as a competitor and as a person. Um, I thought all three phases chipped into this, right? Good complimentary football defensively, special teams. I felt the special teams in terms of the coverage units. Um, and so um, just, a, just a good day all around. You still just answered it, but I mean, given the stakes, given the competition, might this have been your most complete win of the year? Uh, man, it's it's such a long year. Hard to say. I mean, I, it was all I can say is it was the game we were focused on the most, Sal. You know, and and uh, the preparation during the week, the guys did a phenomenal job along with the staff. I need to credit the staff. Um, good game plans on on all three phases, and um, you know, in order to prepare to play like that. It takes a lot of preparation by the coaches, by the staff, um, and the players put in a lot of time. Um, they knew the challenge, and that's that's a really good football team. So um, that's not indicative necessarily of who they are. Um, I think just our level of play tonight was was very high. So I feel you guys were dominant physically, Sean, and yeah. that's an offense that had been averaging over 40 points a game in the last five. What was the key from a defensive standpoint that you called it to kind of limiting them and having a Yeah, I mean, they've got multiple weapons across their offense, starting with Dak. I mean, he's having a heck of a year, uh, MVP candidate, and he was playing really um, clean football. And he, and he did so tonight as well. I mean, we had some opportunities. We got one of them. Thought we had a chance to get a couple more. We got to continue to work on those, attacking the football. Um, starts up front like it always like it always does every week. And I think that first third down, Dak got out, and then after that, we got him into a third and long, and, and we uh, were able to get off the field and, and finish the job there. And then from there, it was a good combination of run defense and rushing coverage working together. And uh, I think any time you can do that, you're giving yourself a chance. Sean, you've talked about physical play and needing to do that. Not that every game is going to be where you run it this much, but is this the kind of game you guys need to be able to play or need to be able to show you can play when need be? Yes, definitely. Um, you need to be able to do this. You need to be able to play that way um, down the stretch because of weather or they're taking away your, your fastball. And um, I just believe in that. I think just philosophically, holistically, you've got to be able to show that you can do that, be a two-dimensional two offense, or in this case, a one-dimensional offense via the run. Um, and it just it just it just helps the the whole football team, right? It keeps their explosive offense on the sideline with their explosive players, and uh, and it just it's just a mindset too, and you've got to be able to do that. So along those lines, just how important is it to be able to play like that and win in a game where Josh doesn't feel like he has to be Superman and do all yeah. kinds of crazy things and throw for you know a million yards or whatever? Yeah, it's it's all part of the what I was saying earlier, Heather, just about. Um, you know, the level of play, whether you're throwing it or running it, it, your level of play this time of year has to be extremely high. And um, you learn a little bit from every game as a coach, as a player. And I think, you know, you can, as Josh is gone, he continues to learn. Um, 
what it takes to win in this league. And, and he'll continue to do that as his career unfolds. And um, I think that's uh, that's been fun to watch and a joy, joy from a coach's standpoint as well. Coach, John, I know Josh, Josh talked about running the ball really wants to point an emphasis on him, and it just happened that way. Um, did y'all guys just really look at how James Cook was having a day and if it's not broke, don't fix it type of mentality? Yeah, it's like anything else. I mean, it's not like we, we're going to come in and be 70, 30, pass to run or anything like that. It's just, you know, we have Coach Cromer um, and Coach Gunn do a great job of putting together the, rain, the, game, the game plan from a run standpoint each week. And, and then, you know, you've got to be willing to call it. So give, give Joe credit there, too, and stick with it. And when it's working, why get away from it, right? And so uh, whether it's the pass or the run, and and uh, the run was working for us tonight. What's been the key shown to unlocking James? Like, we've seen flashes from him before. This was his most dominant game. Was at Kansas City last week, he was really, really strong. Has Joe been a part of that? And maybe what else has kind of fed? I think Coach Skip has done a good job, as well as the running backs. Uh, I'm not... I'm not crediting Joe, crediting Joe. I mean, you got to give him opportunity. You got to give James touches, right? And and so, um, touches matter to a running back that they they can get into a lather and get going and get into a rhythm. And and same for an offensive line. Uh, Jot, or James's development. Uh, number one, credit him. Number two, Coach Skipper. And then, the running backs that are in the room around James also on a daily basis have helped um, with his development, his maturation. Because there's highs and lows. I mean. Um, like I've said before, you're going to want some plays back. I know there's one play he wants back from from tonight as well. So you're always um, looking for things you can work on. Coach, how well has Deion Dawkins played this year? He had a, a block down the other end of the field today that I thought was something that motivates a team when you see a player do his job like that. Yeah, I mean, when you finish plays, um, to me, it says a lot about who you are as a person, as a football player, and, and, and as a team, right? Um, I've said this before. It's not necessarily what plays we run. It's how we run them. And when you run them with a certain level of uh, intensity and a finish, a finishing mindset, and that's some of what I saw tonight and, quite honestly, the last couple of weeks, whether it be offensively in this case, defensively, or special teams. And, and Dion has had a big hand in that. His His willingness to strain, his effort, um, it, that's important. Sean, you guys had a drive in the second half. It was 14 plays. You ran the ball 13 times. Basically, because it was one thing to do, stop it. Well, what's that do? You know, I know it's your offense, but what's that do from a defensive side of things when you just you can't stop it? Yeah, it's, I mean, you can only do so many things as a defensive play caller. You can only put, I mean, so many guys in the box. At some point, you know, someone's got got to got to make a play, and um, so you know, I, I credit our offensive line again, and Joe giving them the touches and um, staying with it, you know, because it's easy to go, hey, run, okay, it worked, go another run, it worked, and then all right, I'm going to play action right here, um, and he stuck with it, and, and they and they took on they took ownership of that because after you get a couple runs, hey, some people are like, hey, okay, that's that was good. We moved it now. All right. Hey, Joe, you know, turn to the pass. And they stayed right with it, which is also a mindset. You say it's tough. How much tougher is it when 17 is the quarterback? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you always have to worry about what Josh is going to do, right? It's, it's, it's when you have a player like Josh or, or like Dak Prescott, and um, you're always worried about if I commit to the run, what's the pass, what's going to happen to me in the pass game? So um, it's a matchup league. Coach, uh, really disciplined football team with one penalty yeah. today. Can you talk about that? Yeah, um, it's uh, it's a big, um, um, it's something we take a lot of pride in is the discipline of our football team and um, having disciplined players and leaders that um, lead by example. I think is where it really is where it starts, right? Because I can be up here pounding the podium every week. Um, with them, I'm saying, but it's really the message that they're taking to the team, them being the captains and the, and the veteran leaders on our team. Sean, you guys talk about playing your best football down the stretch in this time of the year. Do you think that you guys are peaking at the right time right now or, or starting to? Well, yeah, the NFL is a one, one game at a time league, right? One week at a time league. And, um, you know, we've just got to, we've got to, 
obviously watch the film and learn from this. And we're on a short week. I know we've got a couple guys banged up, so we're gonna go, got to go all the way out west. So it'll be that'll be a challenge in and of itself. What's the conversation feedback like on the sideline or among your players when you're pulling them out of the game with 11 minutes to go against the Dallas Cowboys? Yeah, I put the defense back out there. It's the offense. Um, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't really. I mean, I was focused on the defense, I guess, after the offense was out. So, um, but you make that call, right? I did. Yeah. To to pull the offense out. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that they had done their job. The defense hadn't done their job by that point. So. Can you talk about the effort that the defense went out there? I mean, open field tackles, just rounding into the football. Yeah. I mean, that was going to be big because they they do a good job of taking shots, but they also throw the ball underneath and they keep you. You know, kind of off balance defensively, and I thought our guys tackled well when they they were able to set up in those zones and, and break and tackle. Um, and that's again when the rush and the rush and the coverage are working together, you can set up and trust that the rush is getting there, and then you can break underneath um, when you need to break. Do you feel like you <coughs> hit your stride in managing all of this? I mean, you were a defense coordinator for a long time, but was there any part of this season that was all right, getting back up on the bike again and learning how to do it? in this role that you're in now, and do you feel like you're maybe hitting your stride in that? Uh, I'm always learning, I would say, you know. Um, always always um, finding things I can work on and get better at. So um, I just, I'm just extremely grateful to, to work with these players and these coaches. I mean, they, the staff has done a phenomenal job. They really have, and, and um, you know, we have great collaboration on our staff and um, some really good people. All right, thanks, guys.